In this video, we will learn how to trim the various tubes of our bicycle so that they fit, fit neatly against each other before being welded together. This process is known as mitering. At this point, we have one half of a bicycle frame and several tubes that intersect each other intentionally and pass through each other. This was done to guarantee that once the tubes are trimmed away there will be enough material left over so that they can fit up tightly against each other without any gaps. In this area of the bike you can see that the top tube and the seat stay pass through the seat tube. At the front of the bike we can see that the top tube and the down tube pass through the head tube. Finally at the bottom of the bike we can see that the chain stay, C tube and down tube all converge and pass through the center of the bottom bracket. Our job is going to be to trim away all of this excess material. On all bicycles, the head tube and bottom bracket remain completely intact and will have no miter cuts. The seat tube remains almost intact and only has a single miter cut so that it conforms to the shape of the bottom bracket down in this area. All other tubes are cut to conform to the shapes of the three tubes that I just mentioned. To do this we will be cutting solid bodies using surfaces. This command can be found on the command manager here, cut with surface, or can be found under insert, cut, with surface. Any surface can be used to cut a solid body provided that that surface completely passes through the solid body. For example, the outside surface of the bottom bracket completely passes through the solid body of the chain stay so that this outside surface would be a good candidate for cutting away this curved area of the chainstay. In fact, we can use the outside surface of the bottom bracket, the seat tube, and the head tube to act as the cutting surfaces to remove all of the excess material on all of the other tubes in the bicycle frame. However, the outside surfaces of these tubes are part of solid bodies and unfortunately surfaces that are part of solid bodies cannot be used as cutting surfaces. The only surfaces that can be used as cutting surfaces have to be pure surfaces that are disembodied from any solids. For this reason what we will have to do is make a copy of the outside surface of the seat tube, head tube, and bottom bracket but these copied surfaces will in no way be connected anymore with solid surfaces so that they will be able to be used as cutting surfaces. This process will be demonstrated in the next part of this video.